Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Who are we? We are Israel united in Christ. We out here to give you the solutions to what you've been going through in Milwaukee. That's right. And throughout Wisconsin. In California. Bring it up. In Detroit. In Chicago. In Indiana. We're here to teach you who you are according to the Bible and give you the solutions that you need to clean up your community. Read the Bible. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. Read. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. The bread of adversity is that systematic oppression that we as a people have to go through. Last hire, first fire. Read up. School to prison pipeline. Being scared when the police get behind us. For justice, having to march for peace. Right. That's adversity that God gave us. Free. And the water of affliction. What is the affliction? George Floyd is affliction. Bring it out. Tamir Rice, affliction. Bring it out. Trayvon Martin, affliction. Right. Gang banging, your dead sons and daughters, affliction. Your missing people, affliction. Bring it out. Conditions read. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. He said, I'm gonna give you affliction and I'm gonna give you teachers at the same time. Right. I'm gonna judge you for what you've done and show you how to get out of the judgment. That's right. That's a just God. That's right. Read. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Today, whether you know it and realize it or not, your eyes are looking at your teachers. That's right. That's right. We your teachers. We the men sent from God to help clean up your community. Bring it out. That's our purpose. We ain't out here to waste nobody time. We out here so you can get right. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. The Bible says your ears will hear a word behind you because a lot of y'all just walk away. You claim you want solutions. You claim Black Lives Matter. But when the solutions is in front of you, you reject it straightway. That's right. You reject it straightway. Bring it up. Everybody got their own opinion. Everybody got their own philosophy. Yet your people still dying, black man. Your people still dying, black man. Bring it up. Read. Saying this is the way. We saying this is the way. This is who you are. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. You from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. It's time you come back to your God. That's right. It ain't that hard. It ain't that complicated. But you love this oppression. You love this oppression. You love the condition your people are in. You actually think that it's meant for you to be at the bottom. It was never meant for you to be in this condition. That's right. Read. Say, this is the way. Walk ye in it. We're saying that this is the way you should live your life, to walk in it. Hey, bro, I got a question for you. Did they riot in Milwaukee? In Milwaukee. In a gang riot. A couple people did. Open that next to what, what are people rioting for? What do we want? We want tell, peace and justice. Him to go live on the, uh, what, what, what exactly is peace and justice to you? I'm asking you personally. When you say peace and justice, what is that to you? 
To walk down the, I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth. To walk down the street freely, without being touched by a certain color, is freedom and justice to you. Right. Here's the problem with that. Give me the book. Give me the Hebrews chapter eleven. I'm gonna Bring show you up. something, bro. Right? Because a lot of our people, including myself, back at, back before time, right? We think that if we can just be equal. We think that if we could just be equal, then that'll solve all our problems, right? So when we march and we protest, what are we marching and protesting for? Right. The right to be equal, right? Yeah. I just want to be treated fairly like everybody else is being treated, right. right? Let me show you something, read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, 13. verse 13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises. So when the Bible talks about all the people that died that didn't receive the promises, it's talking about the people that walked in God's commandments. The promises that they were looking to receive was the kingdom of heaven. They all died and they never received them. I want to show you an understanding that they had. Read that. But having seen them afar off. But they saw those promises afar off, but they were never able to get them. Just like our people marching today. They can see what justice would do or what hopefully peace will do in our communities, but they never able to get him. Bring it out. Here's the conclusion that they came to, read. And we're persuaded of them and embrace them uh -huh. and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. They were strangers and pilgrims of the earth. Here's what, let me make it plain to you, bro. Let's say you're a millionaire, you got $10 million, right? And somebody comes and they steal that $10 million from you. You, you following me, right? You would attempt to get back five million of it, let them keep the other five? Wait a minute. Like, they, they just stole everything from you. Bring it out. When you say I want peace and justice, and that equals me having equality with the person that stole everything from me, that's not peace. Bring it out. That's not justice. Right. In order for me to get peace and justice, be restored for everything That's that right. they took from me. That's, That's right. right. They don't get to only give me half of what they took from right. me. Right. When God established us so-called Israelites, he made us the gods of the earth. That's right. The top nation. Here, here's the thing. A lot of people think that God won't do this. Who runs the planet today? Oh, don't be nervous, bro. It's only us. Look around. Him it, no, 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 no. Out of all of the human beings on the planet, who runs the planet? Okay, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Who has the military power on the planet to conquer nations? The government. The government is comprised of who? I know we in Milwaukee. It's a little more mixed in Milwaukee, right? Let me help you. The white man run the world, bro. He'll go to an African country and set up a, 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 a military base. He'll set up an embassy and steal all the resources from the country. The country can't do nothing. Bring it out. He'll put embargoes on China, and ain't nothing China can do to it. Right. He'll drop bombs in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Bring it out. And ain't nothing they can do to it. Right. Who rules the world? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very sad. See, a lot of times our people, we try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, they all, they can't be that bad. No, they destroy in the world. Read it again. These all die in faith, not having received the promises. So the promises that you think we gonna get, that the brothers and sisters that's rioting, that's looting, that's protesting, a lot of our protests have been taken over by Antifa. A lot of that looting stuff was not started by so-called black Bring it out! Right. It was, the whole movement was infiltrated. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you why. Keep reading. But having seen them far off, we're persuaded of them uh -huh. and embraced them uh -huh. and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So we're strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Why? How did we get here? I, I went in here and tell you. I can't hear you. Say it again. I went in here and tell you that. You wouldn't be able to tell us how we got here. That in itself is a curse. <laughs> hey, do you think that you can go, where's the Chinese spot? The Chinese people own this seven mile outlet, right? You think you gonna go in there and ask them how they people got here and they can't tell you? No, 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 no. All 
of them can tell you. Right. Either they migrated here, they took a plane here, they came through Ellis Island, that was mostly white people. But they know their history. We don't. We don't. We bring it up. African American. You ask a man his nationality, he'll give you a crap color out of a crayon box. Bring it up. What's your nationality? Black. I'm black. Why you didn't say purple or orange or green, brother? What is black? Quick, can I take a flight to black? Right. If I go to, to the airport, can I take a flight to the black? <laughs> Anybody speak black language? So who are we? According to the Bible, we the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. And everything that we going through is because we broke God's law. We know. You want to know the real solution to all our problems? The real thing that we must do is keep God's laws. Right. That's what we got to do. Right. You might be saying how. It's a real popular thing that whenever this stuff happens, you'll have a few rich Negroes that'll get on TV and they'll say, hey, let's boycott. Let's take a day and black out the businesses. You ever heard that? You never heard that. You watch, you keep up with current events. Sometimes, you go to work and come home, huh? This place took that much out of you. Get it, man. They didn't beat up on you that much. Read that. Next verse. Verse 14. For they that say such things. For us that say such things like we're above, like we don't want equality, like we're not seeking peace right. and justice. Right. We want retribution from God. Yes, you cannot enslave a people for 250 years. Right. Then send them to prison. Then hang them from trees. Send them through black holes and Jim Crow. And right. think that those people are going to have peace. Bring it out. If, when, when the towers were struck in 9-11. Bring it out. Did they march for justice and peace? What did they do? I think they panicked, to be honest, because they, they At what was the aftermath of 9-11? Bring it out. I'm gonna show you something. Cause the very thing that they teaching us, they hypocrites about. Right. They sought revenge. You ever heard of the Afghanistan war? The Iraq war? Those were revenge for one singular incident. One. Imagine how much more the atrocities we've been through. Bring it out. Right. We marched to courthouses that's built on stolen land. Right. right. You don't get what I'm saying, read this. Verse 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Guess what? We seek our country back. Give us back what you took from us. Bring it out. We were brought here on cargo slave ships. Yes, Give us right. back what's ours. Give us back our land with our people and our rules and our codes and our laws. Right. And our statutes and our God. Our religion. That's what we got to fight. Hands up, don't shoot. How about get away from us? Watch this, Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. A lot of people, a lot of our people are looking for solutions, brother. But the solutions that we're looking for are solutions that will include us staying at the bottom. You cannot mention one time in history a people voted their way out of poverty. Right. Voted their way out of oppression. Bring it up. Protested their way out of oppression. It's never happened. What our people got to realize is today is their time to rule. But this world is coming to an end. That's and right. we got next. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. I'm going to say it again. We got next. That's right. That's why we ain't marching. That's why we ain't protesting and looting. All of this is gonna burn. That's right, bring it up. This is Babylon the Great according to the Bible. Right. The Bible prophesied that everything that you can see with your eyes will burn one day. Right. It will burn. Now you didn't fall for equality in a place that's destined for destruction. In the meantime, we need to do this, read. Gather yourselves together. Huh? Gather yourselves together. What that mean to gather yourselves together? as one under what though if we all gonna come under one what do we come as one under that is the conundrum that us so-called blacks and hispanics have because they fed us with so much crap that we don't know what we are 
We don't know who we are. That's why we out here to teach you who you really are. Before them ships landed over here, we were the Israelites. That's right. And guess what? Today, while you stand in this parking lot, you the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. From the tribe of Judah. Read. Yay! Gather together, O oh, nation, not desired. Who is the not desired people that stay in America? Let's not be naive. This is a very simple question. Sister, how you doing, sister? I knew you was coming. How you doing? Let's have the brother out. Who are the people that are not desired in this country? You hear that? It's all right to say it. We can't be naive, right? Let me explain something. If I got a drug addiction, right? Like a lot of people addicted to weed. They'll never say they're addicted to weed. They'll, you'll, you've never heard not one weed head say, hey, look, I'm addicted to weed. You get what I'm saying? You won't see it. But the first step to recovering is to what? You got to admit it. You got to look in the mirror. You got to be like, look, man, this thing destroying me. I got to fix this. Bring it out. You get what I'm saying? So when I ask these questions, it's not somebody on the side uh, going to peep in and see, oh, this is our time. No, all we're doing is telling the truth. We are a nation not desired. That's why they set up shops all in our neighborhood behind bulletproof glass. That's why they own the gas stations and they whole family work there, not one black person from the whole community that's supporting that business work there. That's why we have to march for justice and march for peace. Because we the nation not desired. That's right. It's evident, it's just what we do. What other nation on the planet walk around and have to tell other people that their lives matter? Really? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.